Well, what are we fixing today? Today we're going to continue with the tractor. It is still broken, but I have the hydraulic hoses, so we can put those in and continue kind of where we left off last time. So, um, if you remember where we were, I got the tractor running, got it moved over into this space here, and then hose broke and everything fell to the ground and crashed broke a skid and dented the wall and stuff and stuff so we're gonna take this this thing off of here so the bucket gets smaller clean this up a little bit so that we can um, deal with it put our hoses back on here and uh We'll get it going again. So let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go right over, over there. All right. Got my hoses. Hoses are. Take a guess in the comments if you think you know how, how much these cost. 3,000 PSI houses. What? Total of two. Four, maybe five foot hose, not quite. Four crimp fittings. Put put your uh, estimate down in the comments, and then at the end I'll tell you how much they were. So, they have to connect back to this thing. This don't have to be that clean, I think the inside's clean. Thread sealant got a little different kind. Pipe thread sealant. It's just goop, it doesn't have any stringies. Uh, all the, ooh, brand new. All the, both ends are the same here. So we're just gonna pull off one of the ends. Put on the sealant. Let me take something and squish it around in there. Here's a little broken off drill bit or something we just thread it on there now I do realize that this is a 3000 psi hose and schedule 40 pipe fittings <laughs> so I know what's going to blow first is these pipe fittings, but it hasn't blown yet, so I'm assuming that the tractor can't put out that much pressure. So, you know, we'll just go with what was there. Uh, uh, click. All right. Take another hose. Put some goop on it. And then it says clean it up. So wipe off the excess and the directions. And let's put the cover back on this like right away. I'm also going to try to squeeze some of the air out of this. Let's deal with this first. Take as much air out of the tube here as I can. Okay, it's just starting to squick out. Put the cover on. So we'll store it kind of when the air is squished out. And clean this up. There's a longer side and a shorter side. And this is the longer side. And I think, yeah, longer side goes over here because the this thing is on the other side a little bit. So leaving the covers on, keeping it clean. 
take this. Oh, and the swivel's over here. So I need to do the other side first, because this has to, I have to turn this whole hose to get this on. So let's do the other side first. Okay, I got the goop and the goop threader. And I need a 9 sixteenths. What do I need in here? 11 sixteenths, right there. Okay. Now I need the shorter side here. So shorter is this one. This one I just gotta lay out down there because I'm gonna have to spin it. And that's because there's no swivel on any of this. So in order to get the threads on, I have to actually turn everything. Let's get this. Looped up. All right. Let's stretch out this hose so it can twist. And then this we just got a thread on there. And apparently, got to turn the right way because turning backwards isn't working. There we go. Okay. Is that gonna work? I think that's gonna work. I'm going to move to the other side. All right. So here's this. Okay, so now, so you know where we are, under the tractor. There's the hydraulic connection. And this just needs to go on to there. Okay. Got that clicked in there. They seem fine. And that connection is right here. Comes up to the hydraulic. Uh, this is the power boost valve. It's a valve that's run by the hitch. The hitch pulls and it changes positions of things. But it comes into here though. So a hydraulic out here and hydraulic out here. Right now this is just basically a T. And this is an adjustment. And you can adjust here, but I don't plow with it, so I don't really care about any of that. It could just stay in the position it's in and I'm fine. I could maybe adjust it so the back doesn't move at all. Which would be cool, but I don't know. Figure that out some other day. In the meantime, we need to remove that. I don't know if I got the right size wrench in hand. We'll see, these are the ones that I grabbed earlier. Too big, that is 5A, so 9 sixteenths. There we go. 
Okay, now hammer, tap these out. I should be able to get this bucket off here. And put it somewhere else. I don't know. Once I go up a little bit, not much. I ended up all the way once. If it's set a little bit, check the level. Well, it's a little over full now. Try it again.
I think they ran out of gas. All right, we got the gas filled up. Let's see where we are. See if you'll start.
unfortunately I take my gas. Clunked full of shit again. Yep. Sometimes these things are just easier done by hand. Okay, so we got our wood splitter out. Unfortunately, this tire blew. Hope you heard it. And then later this one blew. Tube came out the side. So, find a couple of old tires for that. Cheapos. But that's my wood splitter. Hydraulic ram mounted to an I beam. That's there. And here we got some hoses. One hose goes to where we hooked the bucket up today, and the other hose goes to the return line right there. Now, one thing they recommend is these tractors aren't meant to uh, pump continuous, I am told. So I'm going to rig up a uh, cooler in between on the return line. So let's work on that. Okay, it's pretty clear to me that I'm gonna have to get some parts. So here's the deal. We're gonna use this radiator. This radiator is gonna hold, you know, a quart, a fair amount gonna hold a bunch of liquid right so I don't want this draining out and making a mess every time so like I said this hooks to the pressure this is okay this hose looks okay so we're gonna leave this alone this is the return line I am going to take this off of here so I know what size and then I'm going to get a pair that fits this hose. 
So then I'll be able to plug this into that, the cooler into there, and then return right through that. And when I take it all down, that core fluid can stay in there. Because the tractor doesn't have that much of a reservoir. It's going to mess it up. I mean, not break anything, but confuse it. Have to add and dump and trouble, trouble. So, okay. That's the plan. So, a little bit of progress today. Got the tractor running again. Hydraulics go up slow and down. So we'll see if we can improve on that. I'm thinking there's a bunch of air in the system and it's confused. So hopefully it's not like some pump problem. <laughs> anyway, we'll rig up this cooler for next time. Get it on the return line of the wood splitter. And then we'll attach the wood splitter to the hydraulics of the tractor. That's next time we do tractor stuff. But for today, give me a like if you enjoyed the, the stuff we did today. And uh, uh, let me know in the comments if you heard those two tires blow. Boom. And then later when I was moving, boom. Gotta find some tires for that. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not driving on the road with those tires, so maybe I don't. <laughs> Maybe I just, uh, maybe I can find some foam to fill the rims with. <laughs> fill the tubes with foam. I wonder, I should look, maybe there is such a thing. <laughs> it's foam that, you know, like urethane foam? I wonder. That's all I would need. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Likes are great. Subscribe, all that good uh, YouTube stuff down below. And uh, remember, if you're filling old tires with air, you might have a bang up time with them. Bye.